Hey, what's up guys? I've actually got a television series uh, season to unbox here for you. This is the first season of the FX original series uh, associated with Marvel Television, Legion. I did not know this had a lenticular cover, which is pretty cool. Look at this. That's neat. Uh, it's at the bottom here, the complete season one. And it doesn't say anything besides the, the name, season one. FX and Century Fox, Blu-ray stuff on the side. Same thing on this side, too. And let's zoom in here. I actually was not intending on buying this. But um, I act oh, today, uh, earlier today, I was looking to see if I could find an unboxing of it because I was curious if it was discharge or what the bisque looked, and I couldn't find one. So I thought, well, I had a $5 gift card, uh, so it made it, it was already twenty four ninety nine, so it made it nineteen ninety nine, which is a little easier to swallow for a, a series. So I just kind of decided to get it. So that's why. Anyway, what was I saying? Let's look at the back. Um, can you read that? It's kind of blurry still. There we go. Two discs set, eight episodes. Fox and Marvel Television joined forces in Legion, featuring a powerful all-star cast, including Dan Stevens, Rachel Keller, Aubrey Plaza, and Jean, Jean, Jean Smart. Excuse me. Legion follows the story of David Haller, or Holler, excuse me, a troubled young man who may be more than human. Diagnosed as schizophrenic, David has been in and out of mental hospitals for years, but after a startling encounter with a new patient, he must confront the shocking possibility that the voices he hears and the visions he sees might be real. With the help of a excuse me, with the help of a psychiatric therapist and her unconventional methods, David embarks on an extraordinary journey of self-discovery that leads to a new world of possibilities and a new level of unexpected danger. What's this say? Lock yourself in a rubber room and binge? I guess. And then we got some features here. It says, Fractured Reality, A Different Kind of Hero, Uncanny Romance, it's not zooming in. Uh, production Design, Powers, Makeup, Making a Devil with the Yellow Eyes, Visual Effects, Costume Design, Locations, Elite Scenes. That Devil with the yellow eyes is kind of the the, the, the bad guy of the series. It's not a it's not a picture of him here, but it's actually I'm not gonna spoil. There's some spoilers, I guess I could say, but it's an interesting thing about that character. He's very fucking creepy looking, um, in my opinion. But anyway, like I said, it's very cool. It's got a lenticular cover. I did not know that. In fact, I didn't even know if it's gonna have a slip cover. It's supposed to be the exact same image, just not uh, lenticular, and the back is the same. So let us get right into this. this uh, I think the second season is actually airing um, in a couple weeks, April 20th or so, something like that. Of course, look at this, it's got that shit that's attached to the spine. Ugh, I hate that. And it's just like Fox. Uh, typically, for their TV shows, they do not have a digital copy, which would be nice if this had one. I would actually keep it, as opposed to selling it. What's going on here? I'm trying to grab some more of that shit on the side here, but... I can't get it. So that's what's even more annoying. I can't even get the pieces that's stuck. I don't know what the fuck ever. Alright. That's just two. And there's disc one. Some background art. This is really flimsy. He's broken or something? Or are they just making it even flimsy? Look at this. Like it's barely anything. Whatever. And then there's the chapters here. You can see chapters one through four on disc one, and then chapters five through eight on disc two, plus all the special features that I already read off. So all the special features on the second disc. In fact, let me just take. Just get the art out so you can see it better. Yeah. Fuck. It's pretty cool. Excuse me, I'll just put it over here. Of course, it's an eco case, too. But like, seriously, this is so flimsy. It's irritating.
I'm gonna say the just the episodes on the disc, so it's just it's just one and just two. There's actually a little booklet that comes with this. The World's Angriest Boy in the World, written by Heathcliff Marr. This is actually canon, or it's, it's, it takes place as a... This book is in the show. It's interesting. To bed, to bed, the mother said. To bed, she said, the angry boy, his face turned red. His face turned red, and with a cry, he chopped her head. Well, that's fucking excessive, buddy. Maybe you've heard of the angry boy who was free as a bird. Are you looking at him? Because he's looking at you. Oops. And that's a picture of him burning the entire city down, apparently. No bed, he said, and snicker snack. His mom was dead, dead, dead. That is a well-adjusted young child. In the end, that's that's an awful story. <laughs> but that it, it plays a part in the storyline a little bit. It's creepy though, obviously. All right, that's it. Just a simple unboxing. Like I said initially, I had not planned on getting this, but um, uh, I did want to want get it at some point. I would have liked to get it for like 15 bucks or so, but 19 is fine. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I recommend the show, by the way. I guess I didn't even necessarily say that. I watched the show on... Actually, I watched it on Hulu because I didn't have FX. Um, so I'm hopeful that they'll actually do that again and I'll be able to watch this, this season two on here. But... Um, it's very cool. It's a little unconventional. In fact, it's a quite a bit trippy in some scenes and stuff, but uh, the cast is great. The storyline's cool. Um, uh, the effects uh, are pretty good, and um, the, the direction's good. The cinematography's not bad, and I, literally li I just liked it. It's very cool. Very interesting take on the character. I had very little understanding or information about this character, but reading about him on Wikipedia and online, it's uh, interesting what they did with him, and uh, I'm looking forward to more. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around. Bye.